Hello everyone, my name is Ayon Kim. I'm a pianist and vocal coach, and I will talk about how to prepare the recitative and focus on Mozart opera. Recitative is a style of delivery in which a singer is allowed to adopt the rhythms and inflections of spoken language and ordinary speech. There are two types of recitative, sec recitative and accompanied recitative. Sec recitative retains more speech-like quality than accompanied recitative since sec recitative represents a large amount of spoken dialogue for storytelling in opera, which is its main purpose. Seco recitative was popularized in Baroque and Mozart opera and continued to be used by the 19th century Romantic opera composers such as Rossini and Donizetti. Seco recitative is usually accompanied by the harpsichord with a simple harmonic progression and sometimes as a cello which doubles the bass notes of the keyboard. So it allows singers to have the flexibility of their lines. Let's watch the short video as an example. <laughs> Signore, io chiedo scusa, ma se mai qui sorpresa, per il carità ma vedete... Un momento e ti lascio oggi no, 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 due no. parole. Tu sai che ambasciatori a Londra i regni di Chiaro, di Condurrecco, di Caro Destinai. Signor, se osassi... Parla, parla mia parla, e con quel dritto prendi il tempo tu e finché tu vivi, chiedi i boni prescrivi. Lasciatemi, signor, dritti non prendo, non ne vo, non ne Susanna, io ti vo far felice. Tu ben sai quanto vi ho dato a te basilio, tutto il giardino. Or senti, se per pochi momenti me cui giorni sull'incredibile giorno, ma per questo favore io pagherei. Esci, non lo fa. Esci, che alcuna lente. Io vi lascio il sole. Dietro mi volo. Non mi ce l'ho. Facci e cerca di parlare. Che fa? Susanna, i cieli salvi. Avreste a casa veduto il conte. Accompagnato restativo è more song quality of the musical number, which usually follows. The function of accompanied recitative is usually expressing a particular moment or intense emotion, and it bridges the gap between sec recitative and the musical numbers such as arias and ensembles. This style of recitative is accompanied by the orchestra, often only strings, but sometimes by the complete ensemble. And because of that, the singers need to perform in a more structured way, and it requires a more singing quality for singers to project their voice. We can see another example in the video.
Now I will explain how to prepare the recitative. First of all, I will focus on seco recitative. Then we'll talk about accompagnato recitative. There are several steps to do, and it can be a lot of work. So some people may be overwhelmed before starting the preparation. However, it is very important, so please listen carefully. Each step needs to start under tempo as slow as you can think and follow. Then, repeat practicing until you can execute at speed. You must study the text first before the music. Seco recitative is a spoken dialogue and the notes generally reflect the natural inflection of the language. If you know what you are saying, you can deliver your expression and character well. First, reading through the translation of the recitative in your native language to get a sense of what's happening. Let's see a script. It is the English translation of the sacred recitative between Count and Susanna from the Marriage of Figaro. We saw a video before and I exerted a part of a dialogue. I will read it through. Susanna, you must know how much I love you. Basil already told you everything. Now listen, if you can have a moment with me in the garden tonight. Oh, for the money I will pay, he left a short while ago. Who is he talking? Oh, God! Go out. Don't let anyone come in. I should leave you here alone. He must be with Madame. I will go to look for him. Here, I will step behind the chair. Don't hide there. Quiet. And see if he lives. Oh, man, what are you doing? Schirmer Opera Score Editions include an idiomatic translation in English on the score, or you can search other translation books. Second, if you are not fluent in the original language, write a word-for-word -word translation, which is a literal translation into your score, so that you can have a good understanding of the meaning of the text. You can use Google Translation or Word Reference. I usually use Nico Casa Library series because it includes IPA plus word-for-word -word translation like this. I'm not sure if the school library possesses the Nico Casa Library books, but if not, you can search other alternative books or talk with your voice teacher. Let's look at the example. I used the Nico Caster translation and wrote a word for word translation into the score. Here, you will know how much I love you. To you, Basilio, everything already told now listen and so on third after studying the meaning of each word speak through your text aloud and slowly in the original language do not sing or pay attention to the rhythms yet just speak through only it is important to speak the text aloud and slowly so that you do not miss anything. Let's see an example and let me demonstrate. Tu ben sai quanto io t'amo. A te Basilio tutto già disse. Or senti. Se per pochi momenti mecco in giardin sull'imbornir del giorno. Ah, per questo favorei o pagherei. È uscito poco fa. Chi parla? Oh, te! Esci, e alcun non entri. Chi ovirasci? 
cui soro, dama dama e sara, vado a cercarlo. Qui dietro mi porro, non vi cerate, taci e cerca che i parta. Oi me, che fate? Fourth, cross out any unnecessary rest. There was a musical convention to write a recitative in 4 4 time without key signature. Um, you see? One, two, three, four, another measure. One, two, three, four. So every measure has four bits. Um, so composers used the rest to avoid a longer note for an unstressed syllable. Do not breathe because you see the rest, but follow the text. Let's see an example. I will speak English translation and talk about which rest is not necessary. So Count says, you will know how much I love you. Then there is a rest. Um, and he will speak another sentence. So I probably take this rest. Then Basilio already told you everything. Then before now listen, um, Count probably has uh, the change here. So I probably will have the rest. Then, after now listen, if you can have a moment with me in the garden at tonight, so we can just go forward rather than having a rest. Then, after he says, if you have a moment with me in the garden tonight, then probably have a time to think more. So I would like to take the rest. Then ah, oh, for this money I will pay. Then you see there is a ellipsis. And Basilio probably interrupt count. So I will not have this rest. And then later, Bajalio again probably interrupt Susanna too. So probably will not take this rest. Then after Basilio says, he left a short while ago, then probably both Count and Susanna uh, is speeding up because they need to hurry up. So probably I will not take those rest. And probably not this rest too. Go out and don't let anyone come in. Probably this rest too. So you can speak English translation first, then think which rest will be necessary and not necessary. Let's see another example. There is a rest, um, but actually from here to here 
it's one sentence. So I probably will not take that rest. Computer use the rest because ge, which means that, is not the much important word. But without the rest, probably ge will be a long note, which can be an awkward musical expression. So composer use the rest, but singers can go forward to make one sentence. Like, we could pay off Marcelina with the dowry that you promised me. Then, um, count says that I promise you when. And here, there is no rest, but I probably would take time so that I can make more dramatic effect before rain. So it sounds like that I promise you when. So if I start from very beginning, we could pay off Marcelina with the dowry that you promised me, that I promise you when. Fifth, underline or circle the stress syllable of the most important word in each line. First, speak the idiomatic translation of each line in your native language to see which words you emphasize and imagine that nuance depending on a different emphasis. For example, if you say, I love you, you can emphasize I or emphasize love or emphasize you and you can color your line differently with a different emphasis like I love you or I love you or I love you. Let's see another example. Count says, you will know how much I love you. Speak in your native language first, then speak in the original language while having the same emphasis and inflection. Imagine that you were the character participating in the conversation. There are several options like you will know how much I love you. Or, you will know how much I love you. Or, you will know how much I love you. In my personal opinion, I like the second option the most. So I will say like, Tu ben sai quanto io t'amo. Sixth, after understanding the meaning of your line, practice speaking the text aloud until you can recite with speed and fluidity. If the sentence is long, you can practice from the back. For example, if you practice tu ben sai quanto io t'amo, you can start from t'amo, io t'amo, Quanto io t'amo? Sai quanto io t'amo? Ben sai quanto io t'amo? Tu ben sai quanto io t'amo? Congratulations! We finished all step for studying text. Now it is the time to study music part. First, read the words aloud again. But this time, emphasize every syllable that moves the pitch so that you discover which word the pitch movement actually occur. For example, Tu ben sai quanto io t'amo A te base l'io tutto già disse 
Second, now learn the notes on a neutral level like do or la. Learn the pitches and rhythms accurately. If possible, learn what harmony is underneath your line while playing the chord on the piano and sing your line. Let me sing the example. Do, do, do. And let's look at the accompanying chord. Mozart recitative usually has a lot of first inversion. So first chord is first inversion of G minor. And then first inversion of A major. Then D minor chord. So I will sing again with the accompanying chords. score includes options of apojectra and you can choose some of them. For example, it will sound natural if the apojectra will be a passing tone, but it may sound awkward if the apojectra will have a large leap. There are three options of apojectra in the example. So if I sing first apojectra, here. It's not a passing tone, but it sounds fine. So I may choose it or I may not. Then next. So I definitely will choose it. Then there is a larger leap. So I will not take it. I will start from the beginning again. Third, after learning your notes on a new trust level, you can add words. The goal of this step is that you learn how to sing the recitative as if you speak naturally while using rhythms, inflections, and the tempo of the language. Although you need to understand and do rhythms correctly, you can adjust the speed of language so that it sounds like a more conversational rhythm. The notated rhythm is an approximation of the spoken rhythm in order for it to fit for four time. I talked before that it was a convention at the time and how composers use the rest to fit for four time. So the notated rhythm allows the natural articulation of the language that sounds as a spoken language, not as a musical line. Let's see an example. In Italian, a stressed syllable is longer than an unstressed syllable. The word quando, which means when, here, the word quando has a stress 
on the first syllable. So longer in the first syllable than the second syllable when spoken. So you can imagine a triplet with the first syllable Guan occupying the first two notes and the second syllable Du occupying the third notes of the triplet like Guando, Guando. Same thing for promisi. Mi is a stressed level, so we can stretch mi, like promisi, promisi. Chi vi promisi quando? Mozart or his contemporary composers expected that performers were fluent enough in the language written for the opera. So they did not try to notate such rhythmic nuances. As a result, they wrote the simple musical notation like two A notes with the expectation that the singer will make a stressed syllable longer than an unstressed syllable. Let's see another example. If you keep musical rhythms strictly, or if you add language rhythm, Fourth, after learning both text and music, you need to keep practicing until you get comfortable to do spoken style of singing. Speak your line in your native language again and imagine the subtle nuances according to multiple options of interpretation, especially thought changes and timing, like dramatic pauses of unmeasured length. It is very important for you to bring your text and scene to your life dramatically. Let's see an example. I colored some words I want to emphasize and I probably take time when I have a thought change. And after or senti, which means now listen, here, count probably will get sweeter and warmer, so I will slow down a little bit. And Basilio probably interrupts count and interrupts Susanna, so quick enter. Let me sing through. To polish your red stativ, there are some important things. First, if you have a double consonant, such as double T, double S, double P, double B, and so on, you have the vowel long right before the first consonant and pronounce the second consonant softly so that you can maintain legato. For example, Second, in second recitative, do not emphasize or hold the last syllable of each sentence long. Basically, 
in Italian, most of the last syllables are unstressed. Tu ben sai quanto io t'amo. A te Basilio tutto già disse. Or senti? Third, you can speak or shout more when you have an interjection or onomatopoeia. For example, if you say, a per questo favore io pagherei, a is an interjection. So you can begin more speaking gesture and add pitch from the next words like, a ah, per questo favore io pagherei. Fourth, secretative is a conversation. So if you study other characters' lines, it is definitely helpful for you to prepare and polish your line. Fifth, it is important to have forward momentum in dialogues between characters, but the pacing of speech should not be so fast so that audience can understand the dialogues. Sixth, practice by speaking over the end of other characters' line. It means responding quickly, not speaking fast. Now I will talk about how to study accompanied recitative. Study text first, then music, like sacred recitative. Overall, you need to adjust the tempo of language and keep the flexibility of rhythms to sing as if you speak. However, at the two beats before the orchestra enters, you must pay attention to a conducting because the conductor will give a clear and active upbeat to have the orchestra to be prepared and enter correctly. Let's see an example. As you may have noticed, orchestra accompanying is usually a short passage of chords after singer's line or a sustained sound by strings and a lot of rests. So singers can adjust the pacing of their line according to changes in mood. Also, singers can have dramatic pauses of a measured length. Let's think about the rest. I probably would not take any rest within one sentence unless I need to. So for example, from here to here is one sentence. So I would not take the rest within one sentence. But I would take time when having thought changes like here. You see, but it's the changing. So I probably will take the rest there. Also, I colored some words. Sky is when you need to watch your conductor. And pink is when the conductor gives a very clear beat for orchestra. I will sing through while demonstrating conductor's cue. <clears throat> Sono ansiosa di sapere come il conte accorse la proposta. Quanto ardito il progetto mi parta. E ad uno sposo si mi bacia. E celoso. Take time. Ma che malcetta. Canciando i miei vestiti con quelli di Susanna e sui commiei tarara, al favore della notte, oh cielo, a cuore mi è stato fatale. The end. 
This was a how to prepare the recitative. Thank you for listening to my lecture. If you have any question, you can contact me via email. Thank you.